Welcome back to the He's Wrong, She's Right podcast, the podcast where we know who the surprise guest of the DNC was, and they're here to visit us on set today. Surprise. My ears are ringing now. Why? That, what you just did, right in my eardrum. Today's episode is sponsored by Hellfire Armory. They are a custom manufacturer of basically all things metal, um, including beautiful AR-15s like this. Got some other cool stuff I'll show you guys in other episodes, but um, we've also got AR-15 lowers. They have these in uh, 80% complete and 100% complete. So if you want to mill them out yourself, um, yeah, if you order 100%, you have to have an FFL or have an FFL transfer done. Checking off all the P's and Q's here or the T's and I's dotting the, dotting the T and crossing the. I'm just thinking about I's. what you just said a second ago, all things yeah. metal. Now yeah. I'm picturing. So I, I almost wanted to take a picture of it cause it's really cool. They're making these custom brass, I don't think it was fully brass. It might have been brass. I don't know. I don't know. I would, I'll have to ask them. But um, elevator panels. He was holding. He was like it was on the couch. Not at all office. what I thought you were going to say. Yeah. No, it was really cool. So he like picked it up. And because of the the color and like finish of like the polished brass, it almost has like a gold look. But obviously, you don't just want gold everywhere unless you're rich. So a fancy schmancy yeah. elevator. Yeah. So they were like they were manufacturing some prototypes and stuff and test fitting the buttons and yeah. Okay. It's pretty cool looking. So not just firearms, they do anything and everything. You can reach out to them on their website, which I built. <laughs> um, but yeah, Shocker. so you can get, a, you can get these parts in all different finishes. Like I said, you can get 80% or hundred uh, percent lowers and uppers. Um, and this, they're about to do my tumblers, right? Yeah. Oh, and they can do uh, laser engraving. They can do all kinds of stuff. They've got tons of mills and lays and, and uh, CNC machines and stuff. So basically, if you can imagine it, they can do it, ship it to your door, unless it's an FFL part, ship to an FFL and then transfer it to you. Um, but yeah, got all kinds of finishes. This is raw. This is Cerakote black. And then they've got this uh, like bronze, obviously, 1911 frame. Some people watching this will know what this is. A little pew pew. Well, when that's completely assembled, it'll... St it'll still be little. No, it'll be much larger than the uh, the one that you that you have, the uh, M&P9. Really? Yeah. Yeah, that's a much larger pistol. It's so little right <sighs> now. Because it's just a frame. It's just a baby. So anyways, um, big commotion about the the DNC special guest speaker. There was speculation that it was going to be Oprah or would it be so-and-so? Who was it? I don't know. <laughs> what? You don't even fucking know and no. you're bringing it up? Yeah. Now you have to search it. Why? Damn it. Because you're talking about it and then... DNC... Are you going to talk special. about what else you told me this morning that happened there? Which are oh, the vasectomies? Yes. And abortions? Yes. Yeah, apparently they like. Stand in line for a coat hanger? Apparently they sold out. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. It was like the mobile, like you would see like the mobile MRI bus kind of thing or like the don blood donation. The idea of getting a vasectomy in like in an the, RV. In the parking lot of the United <laughs> Center. Let alone an abortion. So the. the I think it, was a th it had to have been in the United Center. That's the only place big enough indoor that I can think of. I mean, the, it, my, the United Center my is where mind the, is boggled right now. The United Center is where the Bulls and Blackhawks play. Oh. Hockey and basketball. Yeah. Okay. So, um, and United is in United Airlines. Okay. Uh, so about that special guest, where was Beyonce for the DNCs? So apparently people are mad that Beyonce wasn't there. Like, okay. Okay. A special guest at the DNC, question mark. These wrong answers in parentheses only Is were it far more entertaining. Huh? Was it an Obama? Um, I think what's-her-face spoke 
Michelle? Like the day or two earlier, yeah. Okay. Oops, I didn't mean to click that. What is happening? You don't say today. Your website sucks. Fuck you. It's trash. All right. Um, I'm sorry. I'm still thinking about somebody standing in line. They had a pre-register. They had a pre-register. Yeah. Or a little snip snip they had to, at the convention. They had to pre-register like, for it. A last minute schedule well, change yeah, at the I mean, convention led to, to a frenzy. Be pregnant and need an abortion to schedule it. Oh my god! Many guesses centered on top celebrities like Taylor Swift or Beyonce. Okay. Uh, Is that normal? They already had featured. Yeah. The party of the people having billionaires talking about how life is rough. Yeah, that's normal. Okay. The, yeah, the con- the conventions always have famous people. But here's so somebody made a comment on Twitter okay. a couple of days ago, and they're like, "Would you support?" It was something along the lines of like, "Does does like your favorite musician or whatever supporting a politician like influence sway? you?" Yeah, and I was like, "I give zero fucks." Yeah, if if you are like a, a musician or some actor or whatever. And you are adamant to push an agenda of a political, of the political agenda that I don't agree with. It just means I'm not going to consume your content anymore. So I'd be questioning think, what their motives were and if they get anything out of it. Of course they do. Or, Everybody's right. paid. Yeah. So, um, but in that order, would negatively impact me. In in order for, or I'm sorry, if if you as like a song, or a singer, songwriter, or whatever movie star, whatever, it doesn't matter. If you come out and endorse somebody, like I was saying, and I don't believe in the agenda for the person that you're pushing, okay, I'm just not going to consume your content anymore. So not only did you not sway my vote, right, you, lost. you lost business. But again, goes back to the Netflix thing. Most people say that, but most people don't follow through. Mm. Most people are not, as brand loyal and whatever. Have you followed up with any of your Netflix anti people? No, not yet. Nobody's, as far as I can tell, nothing big has come out yet. The only thing that I know of that people are waiting for is the Connor Stallions episode. Which is what, in a week? Yeah. Next, next well, three days after this episode comes out. Um, it's next Thursday, I believe. It's it's either two days or three days before the first game oh, of the that's, season. That's perfect timing. That's when our football episode is going to come out. Yeah, perfection. So, <clears throat> yeah. Anyways, none of the <laughs> none of the people who went were even people that anybody would be swayed by. I wouldn't think like. I mean, maybe Taylor Swift people, but they're going to, it wasn't like she was on one side and then went to the other. Her fans already do whatever culty nonsense she wants them to do. Culty nonsense. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> the special guests were Pink, the chicks, who, you know, who the Used chicks are. Used to be the Dixie chicks, yeah. and then they had people to like, drop Dixie. People were like, I forgot they existed. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I did yeah. too. And the pack drumline, don't know what that means. Don't Is know. that like like the movie Maybe. drumline? Maybe. The first time, oh my God, it was right around when that movie came out. Okay. Um, we played Saginaw High School from Saginaw, Michigan. Okay. And they're, was I a freshman or sophomore? I was on the sideline. I didn't play for whatever reason. So I, I, it might have been when I had one of my injuries, like when I broke my collarbone. Mm-hmm. And so I didn't, like, you still, like, wear your jersey or whatever, and you stand right. on the sidelines with the okay. team. But I just remember being out there, and they were, like, walking out. And it was, like, predominantly white, very, very rich school. Okay. Right white. I'm not, I wouldn't say predominantly, but I would say that it, my school is probably an accurate rep- representation of the like total U.S. population, like the percentage of Asian people in the U.S. would be the percentage of Asian people in my high school. Does that make sense? 
Okay. Thank you for that broad statement, Andrew. But there, no, I'm, I'm just saying like there, it wasn't like predominantly white or, I mean, it was majority white, but so was our country. But their school, I don't think they had a white kid on the roster. They had two players from that team that were seniors that year that went on to play and start for Michigan, and both of them went to the NFL. Oh, wow. Congratulations to them. Uh, Lamar Woodley and Jerome Jackson. Still remember their names. Look at you. So Lamar had like a really good NFL career. Um, Why don't you save this story for a football episode, Andrew? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. (laughs) But my my point is the the drumline thing. Like we we saw them walking out, and like they were good. Not that I care for like that kind of entertainment, but I was like, oh, I can get down with that kind of. No, entertainment. but I was like, I was like, oh, it's sh- uplifting. It it makes you move a little bit, yeah. But traditional marching bands, like when you go on to college, if you get into a marching band, like they're very, very, like military, militarily choreographed. Like it's very, the the movement is very precise and right. everything. Whereas the drumline thing is like freestyle right. and having fun and everything. Right. And I can appreciate yeah. that. So they came out and we were like, oh, damn. Like, did they just watch the movie and memorize it all? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so I don't know what that is. But yeah, the DNC, the whole thing was dumb. I mean, all... The, all I don't know. The, My mind is still fucking blown about The getting... Republican National Convention is dumb too. All of it's dumb. It's... So the the biggest reason why the DNC this year specifically was dumb is because the technically it should have been Biden. Like we don't have rules and stuff. There are some rules against it, but there aren't really rules against the incumbent just retiring. It's more or less that's what he's doing <laughs> by stepping down. Um, I don't know when or if it's ever happened, but everybody has Was said... Was he there at all? No, and that's... Yeah. Yeah. Hasn't he gone completely MIA? Um, I don't know that he's gone completely MIA, but he doesn't do nearly as many appearances, which could potentially be a strategic thing. They don't want him to fuck up and fuck up the election. What was... um Was it LBJ that was in a wheelchair and they hid that like the entire... His entire presidency? That, I'm right, right? It was LBJ. Mm, it was during World War II one or two. It was during one of the wars, if I remember correctly. And because they wanted they they wanted to boost morale and well, didn't want they it it's it's a it's a uh, a look or whatever you want to call it, like the presentation. I can't think of the terminology. It's right there on the tip of my tongue. But you you want to convey strength right, and right, all of this right. posture, posturing. Well, U.S. president was wheelchair bound. I should just use Gemini on my new phone because it's. He got a new fancy phone last night, mm-hmm. and that's all he's talked about for. No, like it was FDR. Hours. I should have known that. I should have known that because uh, what's his fuck made a parody movie about it. It's like werewolf hunter or something what? FDR American badass, I think or something like that. Oh my God. So yeah, contracted polio, which left him paralyzed from the waist down. Um, yeah, they, they hid that yeah. the secret service, the media, everybody hit it. And it's the same thing here because they, they don't want it to negatively impact the party. They don't want him, um, pushing forward any more of his agenda with the last, I don't know what 90 days or so left until the election. Mm -hmm. They want God, that's all it is. They want to do so close. They want to do everything possible to pretend to be a cohesive team. So who was the special guest? I I never heard I never heard you say Pink. Oh. uh, It was so boring that it Already that was, went out of my brain hole. That was USA Pink Today's. Pink was the USA, special guest. I read you USA Today's. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Pink, the headline. You said uh, Pink. Oh, God. I forgot who else. And then the drum the Dixie line. Dixie Chicks. And oh, yeah. The, pack the drum ch- line. Ball Chicks. What is the pack drum line? I'm going to click on it. I'm, sh- I'm sure it's exactly what we're thinking it is. 
You'll say today's website sucks. Mm. Disable your ad blocker. No, no, I don't think I will. But what I think is more telling is the people that the fans wanted that didn't show up. Is that when you don't, if you have like a really big name special guest, right? Like, you want people to know right. because you build the hype. Oh my gosh, I, I got tickets to the convention because I want to see them perform. You know Pink was not their first choice. You know the know. chicks were not their for, first I, choice. I know, but that's what I'm saying. <laughs> if you have, we'll call it like your title or your headline act or whatever. Mm-hmm. People, but also this was thrown together very last minute. No, because, this is every every. No, 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 no. I mean with. Camilla oh. running. So putting, they might have had other people in place for Biden. Possibly. Anything. Or, or it. God, this would be terrible if it is the same people. <laughs> they That's are, even worse. They're trying to appeal to the voting pool, mm -hmm. which are the DEI hires and all that other nonsense. I mean, it sounds like they're actually trying to appeal to 50% of the population, women. No. The, having women as the special guests in general is, yes, no. for sure. And fucking abortions? No. <laughs> they're not trying to appeal to women. They're trying to appeal to the people within that cult. Within that cult. Yeah. Mm. I think it's I think it's woman power is what's attempting to be exuded and it's not working. No. It it's never worked. It didn't work with Hillary. There were on the other days there were other women and things like that that were guests, mm -hmm. but they weren't as special as the I don't know. Michelle Obama is definitely more special than the chicks. That's what I'm saying. But she spoke Wednesday, I think, or maybe Tuesday. And Kamala accepted the nomination last night. Last night when we're recording this, not when you're viewing this. So they... What? They <laughs> it was literally last night. Oh, my God. So it went on all week. It started Monday, ended yesterday. Obviously, I've been busy working, so I have not... No, you haven't. ...kept... Rude. Rude. <laughs> You're so rude. I'm not rude at all. Keep my phone in just in case. Anyways. So yeah. What did you think of Lauren Bobert's tattoo? The tribal tattoo. Is that I don't even know if it was a tribal tattoo. It that just, like every guy in 2007 got. I wonder how old she is. Guy, not girl. Lauren. Well, they get it. Like on their chest or on their arm. It's a tribal tattoo that like every guy in 2007 got. Lauren Boebert. She's, so yeah, she's almost a year exactly older than me. She was born December 19th, 86. That's pretty young for being in politics, isn't it? No. I'm pretty sure AOC, when she first got in office, was, or I know for a fact she's younger than us. And she's been in for like four, six, maybe even eight years. AOC. Apparently I'm completely yeah. out of it. She was born after you, October 13th, 89. And she has been in office since 2019. Okay. So that puts her 29 when she took office. Wow. Told you. I don't know when Bobert took office. 2021. So, but it looks like she did. Oh, she owned a restaurant in a town called Rifle, Colorado. <laughs> That's cool. I didn't know Colorado allowed towns to be named after firearms. They're like in the middle of the country, they're just the weirdest of the weird there. Every, all the other states around them are like 
farms and you know cowboys and everything and then right smack dab in the middle of it is the Colorado only time that weird. i've ever been is that one time with you in the airport and that was oh, hands layover. down the nastiest yeah. airport yeah and that, we were in denver right yeah. that was yeah yeah it was the denver airport <clears throat> so yeah so disgusting what did you think what you said that's it's a guy tattoo it's so unusual is it even That's right. Zoom in on her boobs. Good job, Andrew. No. So at first, at first when I saw it, I thought they were like birds, like the swallows that people get. Mm. I thought they were just all like, I didn't realize that's what it was. Mm. No, you're not going to send me notifications. No, I'm not signing in. No, I'm not joining. So what did you think of her tattoo, Andrew? I didn't. Like when I saw when people were like bashing it, they did people did the same thing with AOC. Like they did the she was the boob grab one, if you remember that from a couple months ago. Mm-hmm. In the theater. Their her like date or boyfriend or whatever was like groping her and somebody caught it on like security cameras. N- no, you have it completely wrong. Her? Yes. Yeah, they were escorted out because he, she was like giving him a hand job. And he was groping her at the same time. It's all yeah, the, it was yeah. way more than just a boob touch. Yeah. Yeah. Th- that was like a whole year ago. So they uh, apparently several of the the politicians on the right, the females, have been posting like their bikini pictures and stuff Z- in solidarity with one of the other ones who I guess posted something like a one piece several years ago. But the the biggest thing that jumped out at me, and this is what I wanted to bring up and ask you about, is the women that were jumping on this, they went first to the tattoo. What do you think they went to second? Let me see the picture again, and then I'll be able to answer. Her boobs? No. Everybody's already talked about her boobs. Mm-hmm. The bikini. Oh, okay. What about it? They were bashing her. They're like, oh, that's out of season. And that was so 2007. I'm like, I mean, yeah, everything about that picture looks like it is literally a picture from 2007. But only women care about that was my point. Only women are like, oh, that, that swimsuit. It looks exactly like every other swimsuit. Do I have a swimsuit like that? I uh, don't. The answer is so. no. I don't know. No. The answer is no, I don't. Okay. Okay. I don't believe you. I don't. You can go through your swimsuit drawer. Okay. Okay. So, the I don't know who the other ones were. Is that so? You didn't jump. That didn't jump out to you. The the bathing suit. Nothing. We talked about your dresses and clothing and stuff on an episode a while back about how women jump all over that and how you guys are so weird about that. I didn't judge her, but also I'm seeing it right now. So I definitely thought you were going to talk about her boobs being like as much as her whole body. She's like a tiny little person. She probably has a lot of back pain. I don't know how tall she is. She looks tiny. She looks like five she's foot fi- two. She's five foot even. Okay. I gave her an extra two inches. So those are probably like this. Just on her, they look big. Mm. Yeah. There's a difference between what what is big and what looks big. Her boobs are not big. Okay, well, okay. she's set for OnlyFans if uh, she ever wants to pivot, I'm sure. I'm sure she has everybody's saying, quite the follower. Everybody's saying they're going to jump back on that. And when the uh, monkeypox thing, they're like, I missed out last time because of, <laughs> but this time I'm not, I'm not missing the wave. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Let's see. Didn't here. something change with that? Like, weren't people having to get off of it and get real? Jo- I don't I don't know. I'm, it's just like anything else. The well runs dry eventually if you're not persistent. 
and everybody else is doing better or more creative or more frequent or are just plain old more attractive than you are. <laughs> that I think is the, the biggest thing that worked for a lot of people early on was nobody knew who any of these people were mm -hmm. and they were just, Oh, you did this one scene and I liked it or you did posted this picture or whatever. So wait, I'm, you just said one scene. So do you mean like people who were in porn already? I I'm saying, I, I don't, I don't know. I was thinking about people who had never been in porn and yeah. were already like yeah. relatively famous. Like for example, Denise Richards on OnlyFans. You can subscribe to her. Didn't and she? I think she did Playboy. Um, but like every famous person in the 90s probably did. I want to try this out here real quick because <laughs> I haven't used it yet. Nobody cares. I mean, I do, but you don't. Okay. Did Denise Richards ever do porn other than Playboy? I can't answer questions about sexually explicit topics. <laughs> Denise Richards was on the cover of Playboy magazine in 2004. 2004? Wow, that's a so, lot later than I thought it was. Do, you don't have to provide any sources, but do you know if she has done anything outside of Playboy? I understand what you're asking. I still can't discuss sexually explicit. I'm not allowed to. Answer. My mommy it's said. It's listening to you. <laughs> okay, changing the subject. What else did you want to talk about? Changing that was it. Subject? That's all we had for you. <laughs> Gemini. Okay, thanks for letting me help out. Is there anything else you want? To nope. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> You're nicer to Gemini okay, than no me. Problem. Have a good one. <laughs> and then it the transcript for the whole conversation. Oh my God. That, it, it bleeped the word porn. That's funny. I don't know. Anyways. I'm so one of the features that I'm most happy about for phone calls that they mm -hmm. were, they released is the ability to transcribe and provide you call notes for your phone calls. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. So when I'm going, mm hmm. Yep. Sounds good. Mm hmm. Yeah. Good idea. I'll get a transcript of what the other person said for me to read the highlights later. <laughs> Mm -hmm. mm hmm. Good. Yep. That's a good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Man, once I zone out, like I'm just, I don't know how, but my brain can still respond to context without me paying attention. Pretty good at it. <laughs> I love how he readily admits this on camera. Yeah. And yet off camera pretends like. There was, I saw a. I saw a thing. I should have saved it. I figured I would have been able to find it really quickly on on Google, but I can't. Um, I just, no. Oh, I thought I typed in Republican woman versus Democrat woman. I didn't highlight it. Versus. Okay. So the Republican convention was a grinder fest and everybody was fucking each other. And the Democrat convention, you got an abortion. So. Um, That's my takeaway the, from this summer. The the uh, analytics company that they use came out and said that that was completely fabricated story. What? Yeah, yeah. The guy that owns Grinder yeah. is a DNC donor. Oh my god. Yep. So please, Val. They they completely fabricated, made that up. Um. So on these news sites, it's not as good because, man, I really thought there was going to be like a Reddit one that was going to jump out. But somebody compiled like the like three to five most attractive men and women from both parties and put them like in like brackets. I have never seen an attractive politician. So if you can show me one, I will be genuinely shocked. Um He's like, well, in my spank bank, there's no. X, Y, and Z. By the way, so. people replied to that. They said yes. Well, one guy For said what? to the security camera thing. He's like, that yeah. People I, are jerking off. He's like, yeah, I really, I really like my Amazon driver. I'm not going to out you for who you are, but. 
But and keeping the video recording of the I, Amazon. He didn't go into drive. detail, but that's. But that's what we were talking about. Yeah. You said that people yeah. have Take, doorbell camera yeah. video can, recording as their spank bank. Possibly. Some two people. So have there's a difference to it. between saying that your Amazon driver or UPS driver is attractive and keeping the video recording to jerk off to. He said that he does. So the when I type in Republican women versus Democratic women attractiveness, the first thing that pops up is Quora, that weird question and answer website. Okay. And it says, why do Republicans have better looking women overall? And this was, why doesn't it give a date to the first? It gives a date to all the other topics, but not to the main topic. Um, the author has 476 answers. Okay. And at 767,000 views. Does that influence your desire to click on it? No. Okay. So then why did you have to say it? That's what we were talking about. Oh, no. I'm looking for the date, and there's no date, even when I click into it. Okay. I don't understand why there's not a date. This I hate that website anyways. <clears throat> All right, Here, Andrew. Here's a Reddit one. Eight months ago. Show me an attractive politician for the first God. time ever. Doesn't she look like a fucking horse? Like when a horse smiles. I think it's her chin. She has, no, she has and, big upper gums. But it's also, you don't like, well, I know for a fact you don't like foreheads. He likes to make fun of mine. Um, and you don't like a big chin because that's too masculine for you. So I think those are the two other things you don't like Big about chin. her face. She had a very Ranker um, com. prominent chin. So I typed in most attractive men in politics. Ranker.com is the first thing that comes up. The hottest male world leaders. So let's just click on that. Oh, uh, fucking douchebag from Canada. From Canada? Yeah. Probably just because he's young. Most everybody is old as fuck. He looks like... So... When they have stunt doubles in movies, right? <laughs> they typically try and have somebody that looks at least vaguely similar. Okay, so, they, so who are you saying he's vaguely similar Matthew to? Matthew McConaughey. Oh, God, no. I don't yeah. see that at all. Yeah. I yeah. don't see that at all. It only has to be the stature, the like the shoulders, the hair. Because they're, they're going to edit. They're going to cut the face out. And they're just going to paste the other face back on. So, Enrique Peña Nieto, Mexican president. Oh, my God. Aaron he Shock looks like. Is he hot? Up or down? How many votes? Seven. Oh, I thought that said 7 million for a second. I was like, Jesus. 7,000 votes. Um, this is really like. This list went downhill okay, really he's fast. He's the only attractive person so far. The Prince Duke Carl of Philip. Varmland. <laughs> Varmland. Is that a real place? I don't know. He's a duke. I don't know. That's too far away to like see if he's. No, thank you. <laughs> this list, man. <laughs> you guys should go to this. Uh, he looks like an anorexic you. Ranker.com. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? It's a fucking Arab. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> The hollow dead eyes. Ranker.com and look up hot male politicians. <laughs> Who's Ashley Rain? Maybe that's the author or the person that started this. <laughs> Barack Obama. Obama's number 10 on the list. That's Come on. funny. Okay. Yeah. I, uh, maybe the Prince Harry, but I don't know. I've never been with a ginger. Sure. What? The king of the king Spain. The king of Spain. He looks old as fuck. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. So the uh United States representative. People know who he is, um, Adam Kinzinger. Oh, I don't know. He's actually I trending don't. today. I didn't read what he, he looks was really short for. though. So he's only gonna be attractive if he's over six foot two. Oh my god, Gavin News. Oh my god. <laughs> 
Well, I'm just going to call him hair gel. Hair gel? He looks like a fucking Guido. <laughs> Secretary of NATO? What? Oh my god, he looks so Eric tiny Swalwell. too. <laughs> Does he swallow? I think he's a veteran, if I remember. I don't, I don't know like for a fact. He's like pocket size. I don't know anything about him. Other, I, I know people have talked about him and know he's trending. I don't know shit about him because he doesn't represent us. So I tend to not pay attention to other states politicians because I don't give a fuck. It doesn't affect me. Yeah. It's very hard for people to comprehend that. Now, federal level, I pay attention, but state level and local level. I got my news from you. So you create Obviously, your own problems. I don't pay attention at all. Okay, so these people are not attractive. This is obviously a very good list for proving because it was the number one search result. So it's the it's the best list okay, for so proving you need to people to that you make have to your be ugly. own list, and then people will find that list. Let's type in oops, American politicians instead. Most attractive American. Most attractive American. That's Yahoo, so broad. Yahoo.com. No. And I just added an American in the middle of my gotcha. sentence. All right, here you go. Democrat, Democrat. I don't know who that is. Oh, it's Adam Kinzinger again. I don't know what affiliation he is. Uh what? Talking about weird shit on here. Can you just can you just have a list without like it, th the th Booker guy's eyes Corey go Booker. in two different directions? That's kind of creepy. I've heard him talk on. They literally uh, go in two different directions, like this. I've heard him talk on a podcast before, and I think if he wasn't a politician, he wouldn't be a bad guy to be around. But he's kind of retarded. I mean, look at his eyeballs. So yeah, maybe he's cross. I don't know. Beto, oh my god! What's wrong with his face? He's looks like somebody hit him. He's a literal cuck. Pete oh, Booty it's your Juice. favorite guy ever. Oh, you I do love know, him. So I do know much. people that are obsessed with him. Why? Because they were obsessed with him in South Bend and they're still obsessed with him now. You guys are crazy. I don't know he has no lips. Her lips. Is that even a politician? I don't know. Robert Garcia. Apparently he's a congressman. Oh my God. He's like, oh, daddy, I came to visit you at James, the office today. James Tallarico. Adam Kinzinger. I wish it would put, because anywhere else you would look, you would see the D or R or I. Mm. So we would know. Okay. Apparently he likes Bucky's. Yeah. Justin Jones. Why is it all pictures from Instagram, too? Oh, anyways. Okay, so that kind of proves Nona doesn't think politicians are attractive. Mm -mm. Wait, it's, oh, it says, for one, it's from their, uh, like, brand or, like, what, what do you call it? The column in, like, a newspaper back in the day. They still use that term on online. Okay. It's from their column called Pride. And it's 10 hot. So are they all gay? It's 10 hot politicians who make us want to pay attention to the news again. Yeah. <laughs> but, okay, so to wrap this up, I know I had you put on the list um, Walls, Son, and Baron Trump. Okay. Kenneth, Gus Walls is his name. Okay. Okay. What happened? When. When I don't remember what happened with Baron, they were talking, people were making fun of how tall he is and all this other stuff. Like he's like six, four, but he looks like a lurch. He hasn't fully developed. Yet. Right. That's so he's, he's in, he's in his lurch phase. So, but they were, they were making fun of him. Okay. Still a kid, still a minor, or I, he might be an, uh, an adult now. I thought he was a teen. But they, it, it didn't just start. Like they've been bashing him for a long time. Oh, I had no idea. So the left has, has, bashed all politicians, kids, and this and that. And now, a subset of the right, 
Definitely not all the right. The majority of what I have seen has been people being like, come on, guys, we're better than this. Don't act like those pieces of shit. Okay. And actually saying don't make fun of Walls' kid. So Walls' kid is a um, nonverbal um, aut- autistic. Oh. And so he was at the DNC when his when he was appointed or took the nomination for VP Tuesday or Wednesday, whenever it was. Okay. Um, he broke down crying, like pointing at his dad on the stage and people were comparing him to, um, what's his name from Kenosha, Kenosha kid shot the pedophile and the other guy during the riot. Can't think of his name. You know who I'm talking about? The, the kid that went to Illinois Shot the pedophile guy. Self defense. I have no idea. Oh my god! You know he's not like the most famous person for self defense right now. He's like nineteen years old. Oh my god! (sighs) Kyle Rittenhouse. Yes, that's who you're talking about. Yes, yeah. Because when he was in the courtroom, how on earth? When he was giving his testimony, nonverbal. When he was giving his testimony, he broke down crying, and so people were making fun of him for crying. And now they're making fun of Gus Walls. So, well, that's my, terrible. My point of putting that on the list was, from as far as I can tell, the left is full blown. Fuck you. Fuck your kids. We'll murder all of you. And the right's like, no, kids are off limits. But that's kind of par for the course with the left because they're the party of pedophiles and minor attracted persons. What? That's that's what? (laughs) Transgender, pedophiles, all of it. It's what they are. That's what they're known for. That's what they're pushing. And then projecting, calling anybody that they don't like a Nazi when they're the ones that want to destroy Israel, which is what the Nazis wanted to do. The left is retarded. That R word again. Scientific medical term. Actually, hilariously, um, video that the kids and I were watching Wednesday morning, I believe, before went to school. It was uh, an Air Force veteran that does um, uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator videos. Usually he's got like compilation videos of like weird glitches and things like that. He plays the game. I don't know if you know this, but when you play that game, you actually have to have like the controls as if you're actually in a plane. So you have to buy these whole rigs and everything. And they actually fly... Like the route is if they're really doing it in real life. They actually have to go through air traffic control, get clearance. They fly. But it's a game. They fly their, yeah, they fly their real life, real time duration. Do you guys do this? They know probably. But yeah, they, even the weather is accurate to what the weather, Microsoft pulls live weather information. (laughs) So if it's storming here in Wilmington and you're flying a plane in or out of Wilmington, it'll be storming in the game in Wilmington. Okay. Yeah. So anyways. So anyways. He was coming in for a landing and the flight control system, whatever it's called, it was saying, retard, retard, retard. Oh my God. It wasn't calling him a name. It's telling him what to do with the controls. The word retard means to slow, lower, reduce. Yeah. It's, and it's being brought back, by the way. People are using it for, with its intended use case, with the exception that they are not using it for people with mental disabilities, but they are using it for people who are retarded. Oh my God. (laughs) I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's a perfectly I do not approve. usable word. I do not approve. I approve. I do not approve. I approve. 
I do not approve of this message. I approve. Quote me on it. All right. That's it. I'm closing this one out. That's enough politics for today. That's why I'm using the cheer button. I know. I was. The crowd goes wild. Okay. Check out hellfire.com. Is that correct? Hellfire Armory. Oh, I'm com. so sorry. Uh, right now, they have uh, just kind of the bare bones, like their normal production stuff that they have in inventory. But there will be a uh, method for contacting them for one off items, parts. Like, seriously, the you can have them make anything. If you're like, I want a fully metal phone case, um, they can make it for you. He needs to order a cutout of me for when I'm at meetings that he can. Do you know how much that would weigh? Have talks with because apparently what, the conversation that I give with him is. I wonder what. I wonder what. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I need to know now. You're about. We'll say you're about a foot and a half wide. And Rude. Rude. What? Rude. That's your shoulder to shoulder. Rude. How much would the equivalent of a five foot eight woman weigh in aluminum? Okay, I can't help with that. You can always try asking. (laughs) You can't help with anything. Stop. How much would a five foot eight (laughs) by 18 inch by 10 inch block of aluminum weigh? Okay, I think you're asking about the weight of a block of aluminum, but just to be sure, you're asking about a block of aluminum that's five feet, eight inches long, 18 inches wide, and 10 inches high, right? Yes. Okay, since a block of aluminum wire sounds a little weird, I'm assuming you want to know the weight of a solid block of aluminum shaped like a rectangular prism. Let's see. We'll need to find the volume of the block in cubic inches first. Then, we can look up the density of aluminum to figure out how much a cubic inch weighs. After that, we can multiply the volume by the density to find the total weight. Volume is figured out by multiplying length by width by height. Do you have a calculator handy? Can you just do this for me, please? Okay, I can do that. Let's find the volume of this block of aluminum first. We'll need to convert the measurements to inches, since we'll be working with density in pounds per cubic inch. Five feet eight inches is sixty eight inches. Can we just now we skip? Need to find the can volume. we just skip to the answer? Okay, just give me a second to calculate that. Do 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 do. Hello. She died. Sorry. What's the answer? Okay, I think that's a little morbid. The block of aluminum would weigh about 750 pounds. Thank you. (laughs) You're welcome. Is there... It's about how much I weigh. (laughs) That's a very long way to answer my fucking question. Like, (laughs) Chad GPT has this problem of being, like, entirely too wordy but not asking you questions for context. So I can ask it, I want to do this, 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 and this. And it'll just give me like whatever response. It doesn't care. Let's say I'm talking about a Windows computer that I want to build an app for or whatever. Like I'll say, I say that and it'll be like, oh, okay, you do this, this, and this. And I'm like, okay, but what software should I use? What code should I use? What should I download what like I have to ask it. That's what I want a virtual assistant to do. I want the virtual assistant to present me with the questions that are pertinent and important to what I'm trying to accomplish. I don't want your, okay, let's just go get started. No, I want you to be like, okay, what version of Linux are you running? Do you have this installed yet? If you don't have this installed, do this. Here's how you secure it. Because it, it, all of these chatbots, for the most part right now, obviously I haven't really played with the new live Gemini very much, but most of them 
are basically the equivalent of like a preteen as far as maturity and like. You better be nice, Andrew. She's listening. Sure. But they can, they can recite something that they memorized, but they don't understand why or how. And that is what makes it useful. Understanding the why and how not like I can go and build a Lego, but that doesn't mean I can go and build a car right now. Chatbots are building Legos. So anyways, Ooh. Uh, <laughs> if the video just got kind of wonky, my bad. Bye. Goodbye.